Welcome Arithmetic Ninjas to question 26. And this is 6 whole ones subtract 5.738. Now the simple advice here is to turn 6 into 6.000. Make it have three zeros after the decimal point. So that then you can put your other decimal point underneath and put your 5.738 in like that. Put the three zeros in just so there's no empty gaps on the top. So what we're going to do now is a column method. So there's going to be a lot of borrowing involved here though. So zero take away eight we can't do. So we borrow from this column, but you can't do that either because there's nothing there. Go to the next column, can't borrow from that zero because that's empty. So we borrow from the six. The six becomes a five and the one we've borrowed makes this first zero into ten. But that's no use because we still can't do 0 take away 8. So borrow from that 10 and make that a 9. And the one that we've borrowed makes this 0 into 10. Still no use. Borrow from that 10 and make that a 9. And that makes this 0 into 10. Now we can carry on. 10 take away 8 is 2. 9 take away 3 is 6. 9 take away 7 is 2. 5 take away 5 is nothing. Put your decimal point in and you've got your answer. 0 0.26. Two. Just remember to put those extra zeros in so that it's 6.000 and that will line up perfectly with your 5.738.